Hello my fellow Minecrafters and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with yours truly, Les Scarlet Fox. In today's episode, we're actually going to go through a couple things and we'll try to make it quick so it's not too long of a video, but basically here's what we're going to do. Alright, so for episode 6, here is the plan. We're going to figure out a sorter for the rocket farm, we're going to gather some ender pearls and blaze rods so that we can find the end portal. We're hopefully going to defeat the dragon and then profit. I don't know what profit means. Profit is probably just getting some shulker boxes and the elytra, but yes, profit. That's the plan. All right, let's get right to it. All right, so I actually already did the work <laughs> that needed to be done for this order. It took me so long. Why is it raining? I hate rain in Minecraft. It makes everything look so much worse, but... Because of how this order works, I actually had to add this addition here. So let's take a look at what this kind of looks like. Maybe here? Nope. Um, I think I should be open. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is kind of what this order looks like on the back and it's very difficult. <laughs> it involves a lot of hoppers, involves a bubble vader, and it works. Uh, I had to look up a hundred thousand different tutorials to get it to work how I wanted it to work and I kind of mixed a bunch of things together in order to get it to actually do what I wanted it to do. Um, but it's fun. <laughs> it works. I still haven't figured out a way of automizing this, which is really unfortunate. Um, is there enough sugar cane? Yeah, let's see if we can actually get it to work and see it in action here. <gasps> do you see that? There it is. It's floating up and it goes directly into this chest, as you can see. Oh just a couple we only got to see it for a split second but look at all the gunpowder that we've gotten and well we've utilized quite a bit already to make some of these wonderful rockets and downstairs is kind of where the the other part of the work is so this is the collection system for the uh, sugarcane farm and over here is the collection system for the gunpowder oh I heard it something went off I don't know what oh well Something went off, there's resources going up this thing, which is fantastic. Um, I've been trying to work on actually making this work automatically. I've been working on my creative world. I still haven't been able to figure it out exactly how I want it to be. So I'm not going to actually do anything to this until it works exactly how I want it to work. And then I'll bring it over to my survival world here. Alrighty guys, so we are ready to go to the nether again and this time just for the purpose of actually killing a lot of endermen and places so that we can do the thing that we wanted to do. Now, I'm going to take one of these horsies because I think it's kind of appropriate. We'll head off somewhere in that direction. Hi horsey. I actually found them up there. I've been ignoring them for a week and a half and I finally brought them here. So. They're mine, um, little skeleton horses. We rescued them. They now have a home. We need to stop rescuing so many animals. <laughs> All right, let's take you. We'll dismount you. And put this back here. All right, horsey, with no name, let's go on an adventure. We're going to be looking for endermen to kill. And um, while we're doing it, we're also going to be looking for a fortress so that we can take advantage of the blazes. And I just realized we didn't take any blocks to actually get us places, so we're going to have to probably mine some here and use those. Alright, we found one of the creepies. The noises that we hear. It did. Oh, that's a pigman. We don't want to do that. Did it drop anything interesting aside from experience? does not look like it. So we have surprisingly not found a single enderman in the past like 30 minutes or so. And the first time I came to the nether, there were a lot of them, so I'm pretty confused. So yeah, <laughs> I guess this is going to be a little bit of more challenging task than I thought here. Wait, is that? Yes. Okay. We found a fortress, so at least we got that going for us. We can farm a little bit of those blaze, uh, blaze rods from the blazes. Oh my gosh, wither skeleton. I remember you. Oh, we have infinity on our bow now. Um, from one of the villagers that we bred for last episode. Uh, <laughs> so I only need one arrow. I, I will never run out of, ar of arrows, which is fantastic. Yes, here we go. Blazes, let's do this. 
In terms of quantity, what I would be happy with is if we can get at least half a stack. Because we have some back at home. So if we can get at least half a stack of these. Oh, maybe more. That was easy. Um, then we at least will be good on the blaze rod front. Oh. And then we can try to focus on figuring out how to get Enderman to happen. <gasps> this is it. This is what we have been looking for. A blaze spawner. Perfect. So we're just going to wait here for them to spawn in. <laughs> and harvest them for all the rods that we can. <laughs> we're one short from a stack. Stack. Okay, okay. <laughs> here it is. Alright, we have a stack now. We can go. So we're going to go home and we're going to take a minute to figure out how to get Endermen in the easiest way possible and then we'll get the Endermen. Hello everyone, I kind of made a silly <laughs> and forgot to hit the record button while I was uh, getting the Enderman. So I kind of want to show you guys what I did, but before I do it, let's make it daytime because all those mobs are kind of scary. Alright, so it is daytime now, so yeah, most of them will start burning off and we are relatively safe. So basically what I did is I created a platform in case I needed to retreat. But then most mobs who do attempt to come into this area will get pushed away by the um, by the water that we set up. And what I would do, and I spent a couple hours because Endermen, they're actually not as common <laughs> as you think they might be. Um, I'd wait here. If I saw an Enderman, I'd aggro it. Then I'd teleport somewhere around here. Then I tried hitting it and over and over and over again. Until we killed about 23 Endermen, we have 32 um, Ender Pearls that we collected from that. Uh, we did two stacks, um, plus a couple, and um, because I have looting three, uh, I actually did get quite a few dropping from each Enderman, which was nice. So I guess with that, having the Ender Pearls and the Blaze Rods, which I don't have on me, <laughs> um, we are ready to go find the End Portal, and with that, go defeat the Ender Dragon. I am kind of scared, but let's do it. And we're ready. So for those of you who don't know how to find the end portal, basically what you do is you throw these and it'll give you the general direction in which the portal is going to be. Now I'm saving 12 because to activate the portal once we find it, we are going to need um, at least 12. Sometimes it does spawn with them on, but we want to be overly prepared and I don't think I'm ready enough. My armor, <laughs> I, it might break. Well, we'll see. Let's do this. So first pearl. Where are you? Oh, it's over my house. Okay, so I guess that's the direction we're going in. This literally feels like following breadcrumbs. Now, sometimes they do break, which is why I wanted a few extra. And as you can see, I did lose a few to the roof of my house. Oh, it broke. But yeah, slowly but surely we'll make it, hopefully, with these 16. I'm going to try not to use them too frequently so that at least uh, we can, you know, conserve them. Alright guys, so we have encountered a tiny little bit of, I would say a roadblock, and it's this ocean that <laughs> the pearl wants to get me through. So we're going to cut up some trees because obviously I didn't bring any extra wood, like a dum-dum. Uh, but thankfully we are in a jungle, so trees is something that there's plenty of. So we'll cut some trees, we'll make a boat, we'll proceed, and hopefully we'll find it. We are down to 11 pearls, by the way, to actually find this portal, so we need to be using them more and more and more sparingly as we continue. And look, the sun is setting behind us. We are traveling through this ocean in a beautiful sunset. Okay, back to pearls. Let's go... Uh, should I? I'm gonna throw one here in the ocean and see what happens. Oh, it's leading us that way. Oh, no, please. I don't know if we make it up. Come on, don't drown. Okay, we made it up. Boat, 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 boat. Thank goodness we brought a bed. 
though we always have a bed now in our ender chest. Because the night is scary in Minecraft. See, there's already a creeper there waiting for us. Hello, creeper. I hope I don't lose any more of these pearls to the jungle. Okay, we are going that way. Where did you drop? Here you go. <gasps> we are close. Which block? Okay, it's around this block somewhere, so we need to dig down. We found it. Okay, we found it with one pearl to spare. Is this the roof? Yeah. Okay. We are in. I spy. Oh, we got an advancement. That's fantastic. Okay. So, this is like a little dungeon. It should have a few rooms, and one of these rooms will have the end portal. Now, I don't know exactly... <laughs> now, I don't know exactly where this will be. But that's part of the adventure, kind of figuring it out. Oh, right, this is an iron door. We must press the button. Okay, we found it. Oh gosh, what are you? Hello, you're new. I haven't seen you before. <gasps> Lava. Okay, let's actually check out... Look at that. We are very unlucky. It spawned with literally no pearls. So if we had used any of our reserve, we wouldn't have been able to activate this portal. So we put an eye in each one and there we go this is such a cool portal look at that okay we're not actually ready to go through it yet we must set up so we are gonna reset our spawn point here put our ender chest down remove from our inventory all the stuff that we don't need for the wait, we need you all the stuff that we don't need for this fight Oh, how are you there? Hello. What are you? Oh. What? Do you spawn on these things? Am I accidentally spawning them by like... Yeah, they're under the blocks. Oh gosh. Please, no. Okay, well they can't come out of there. Can you imagine if we die before we even make it to the the main fight because of these things? Well, we actually already at least put our bed down. I'm just going to keep hitting all these blocks and hopefully there is nothing... At oh, look at you. Quite a few of you, actually. Please, stop. No more. So things are going to pretty move pretty quickly once we hop into this portal. We're going to spawn on a platform that we then need to pillar out of. Then we'll go to the main island. On the main island, there's going to be these tall, tall towers that we're going to have to destroy the blocks at the top. There's going to be endermen everywhere. We need to look at the floor so that they don't aggro on us. After we destroy the blocks on top of these pillars, then we can... Were you then we can start thinking about defeating the ender dragon okay let's just do this okay we're here and that is the main island and those are all the endermen oh my gosh just don't aggro them so we should have brought a pumpkin head but here's what we're gonna do first things first we're gonna try to make this a little safer for us by doing this so I know that this is not going to do anything, but if I accidentally did spawn, uh, sorry, aggro any of the endermen while we're trying to cross, at least we have a semi-safe place to retreat to that we won't be pushed off of by accident with all our gear that we would definitely not be able to recover at the bottom there. Well, this was silly. I can't... Yeah. Okay. This is good enough. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. We are on the main island and over there in the distance you can see the ender dragon and it is a boss fight and it looks like we already kind of prompted it. 
gosh, please. It's gonna aggro the Endermen. Okay, so first order of business, those things at the top there. We have to destroy them. Oh. Oh no, we forgot bottles to bottle the dragon's breath. Okay, well we actually are able to respawn the dragon. So that's okay, that's not a problem. Let's do that one next. Okay, this thing is very dangerous. We don't actually want to be this close by to it. <gasps> that close by to it when it explodes. Hopefully we don't die to this. Okay, we did not. Good stuff. And what I think I can do from here is actually aim at the other ones. Yeah, this is working. We're not here. I promise. This is an illusion. Oh my goodness, this dragon's breath. Completely zoned me out. Can we place a block? Oh. Oh my god, it's expanding? Okay, we are on top of it. <laughs> oh, okay, this was a good idea. We would have died otherwise. Okay, so this is one of the iron ones that we're gonna have to defeat. Let's go behind here. And this one is gonna be a lot closer to us, so we need to be way more careful because we don't want to explode. We're so scared. Okay, we took very minimal damage from this. This is good. This is okay. Okay, we have two more towers to go. We can do this. <laughs> and then the actual fight starts. <laughs> That's the funny part. We have to go through this entire thing and this isn't even the fight. The fight begins after this is done. Okay, we fell, but we have water, so this is good. We can actually just drop. There we go. We're safe. Now we fight the dragon. It punched me up. Okay, we're gonna have to go back and get all our stuff. Okay. Thankfully, we have backup gear. Not a lot of it, but we have some. So let's put it on. I can't even bring you with me. Okay. Okay, we might actually be able to do this. Thank goodness we don't play on hardcore. Can you imagine? Well, I mean, if I was playing hardcore, I probably wouldn't be trying to take on the dragon so early in the game. But still, can you imagine the people that do this on hardcore? They don't know if they're gonna make it out alive and then they can't keep playing in the world. That That's brave. The people that play hardcore, that's... I don't know, that's such a... A thing that I could never do because then what it, if you die you lose all your builds and everything that you've worked for but I guess that's part of the appeal of it right oh come on dragon come back down here okay it's so going back to the bedrock pillar and we can attack it from behind again pushed us again, but this time not as far up, so we did not die. <gasps> we lived? Okay, uh, water. We need to eat. We're just like, hiding in this corner. The dragon is almost dead. Like, Probably a couple shots and he's done. You're done, you hear me? I will defeat you and I will get all the elytras and all the shulker boxes.
I need to channel my inner Legolas here. Oh, come on, dragon. Just one hit. Come on. We're so bad at this. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. We did it. We defeated the Ender Dragon. Oh, that's a really cool. This is the first time I've done this. This is a really cool animation. <gasps> Look at all the experience. Let's take what? We have 53 levels. Okay. This is insane. And the dragon. Okay, the dragon egg. So I know that you can't get this dragon egg the normal way. What we're going to do, because we don't want to lose all these levels trying to get the um, the loot from the end. I'm going to go through this portal. We're going to go back home. We're going to repair our armor and a couple of our tools. And then we'll come back here with the appropriate tools to get this egg. And also... Um, Get ready to actually loot the end. Yay! Oh. Oh, we defeated Minecraft. Right. I forgot that this was a thing. Okay, well, I won't make you guys sit through this, but I am going to take the time to read it, so I'll be back with you all shortly. Hello, everybody, and we are back safe from the end. We did it. We defeated the Ender Dragon, but unfortunately, this is all the time we have for today's episode. Whoops. So, I know we promised profits, and there haven't been any profits to what we did all episode yet. We didn't get a head from the dragon, we didn't get the dragon head, we most certainly didn't get any elytras, we didn't get any shulker boxes. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually thinking about doing a bonus episode for Monday, where we just raid the end cities. So we'll do that, we'll make sure to get as many shulker boxes, and as many elytras as we can, and then we'll keep going with the series in our regular schedule on Fridays, of course. But that way next Friday we can actually, or I can actually, because you obviously didn't know, but now you know. Uh, for next episode, my plan is to actually work a lot more on the base. I've collected a lot of sand. I've been working on making it into glass. So I'm very excited to finish the globe, move in, do my storage system, and all that wonderful jazz. But with that being said, <laughs> hello, Foxy. Foxy wants to make an appearance in the video, and all the cats, and Parrot B2. Anyway, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like this episode, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any comments, ideas, questions, concerns, whatever, make sure that you put it down in the comment box. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, again, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye.